When a new male lion takes control of a pride, the killing begins quickly. Not out of rage, not out of hunger, out of timing. A lion pride is built around reproduction. Females nurse cubs for months. During that time, they do not ovulate. As long as cubs from another male are alive, the new male cannot pass on his genes. So, the system intervenes. The male targets only the cubs. He ignores the females. He ignores grown lions. Once the cubs are gone, the females return to fertility within weeks. This is not impulsive behavior. It is strategy, shaped by evolution. A male's control of a pride is temporary, often just a few years. Every season matters. If he waits, another male will replace him before his lineage exists. The females resist. They hide cubs. They fight back. Sometimes they succeed. Sometimes they don't. But even resistance is part of the system. It filters which males are strong enough to hold territory. This behavior does not benefit the pride emotionally. It benefits the species statistically. Cubs that survive belong to the ruling male. Their survival justifies the cost. In nature, there is no fairness, only outcomes. The lion is not cruel, he is precise. Because in the wild, life is not protected by kindness, but by continuity.